Hi, I'm Junior Hoops. I'm the Family uh, Advocacy Program Manager here at ACS. Again, talk to you about the tips of the week, the tips of the day that we had this last week. And we've been doing a series lately on anxiety. And last week we talked about what was anxiety. This week we did tips on the cycle of anxiety. So individuals, they, they get into like a pattern and that's what we're gonna talk about, the, the, what is the cycle of anxiety. You can find cycles of anxiety online It'll kind of just show how it just keeps going around. So we're going to talk a little bit about, about anxiety. Again, what is anxiety? Anxiety is when you start feeling anxious, uh, heart starts racing, uh, feeling worry, feeling fear uh, about certain situations. And then that's where the anxiety starts. That's the first part of the cycle. The next part is the avoidance. So you're starting to avoid these situations. Well, Maybe if I don't go to class, then I don't have to worry about that presentation. Or if I don't go to um, this meeting, then I don't have to work, confront this individual. And you start avoiding things. Uh, when I was going to college, uh, I didn't know what classes to take for the first time. I remember sitting down with the, uh, the advisor and I said, and I was being kind of cheeky. And I was like, what is the hardest class no one wants to take? They said, well, we don't know what's the hardest, but no one ever wants to take it is speech. So I, I took speech first. And I couldn't figure out why. And I always volunteered to go first because no one wanted to be the first person to go. Uh, there's a research done by, by The Times. There was an article done by The Times uh, magazine uh, or paper that talked about that people would rather die than speak in public. And so, again, this is a great fear that individuals have. So if I don't have to do it, I'll avoid it. I'll avoid it as much as possible. Some of the, like we talked about, what is anxiety, some of the short-term effects of anxiety can be helpful. So, you know, some of this fear that you might have in a certain situation, it could keep you out of a certain situation or it could heighten your senses so that you can avoid certain things. The problem though, when you, when you continually avoid something is it goes into the third, the fourth part of the cycle. And the, and the fourth part of it is the long-term effects. So, this is where you can become debilitating, that you're not able to function, you're not able to do normal daily activities. Some things of anxiety are fine, uh, but again, when it affects your normal daily activities that you're unable to function, then that becomes an issue. And it just continually spins around and then goes back into anxiety. What you're gonna find is a lot of times individuals, again, to try to help their anxiety, they think uh, anxiety, depression, stress, one of the number one things that people say to do for it is, oh, I'll drink some alcohol. Well, we know alcohol is a depressant and it just makes your depression or anxiety or stress worse in the long run. So again, these are some of the things that individuals will do when they get into the avoidance phase, uh, doing drugs or alcohol, uh, procrastinating, challenging uh, tasks that they have at work and then they start getting behind and then when they get behind, it becomes more anxious. So again, trying to find a balance and trying to find where can I spin out of this cycle and as it's continually going around. And so that's what the tips for the week were. I mean, next week, we're going to talk a little bit about what are some things you can do when you're feeling anxious and some things that you can do uh, to, uh, to increase your uh, resiliency with anxiety. Like I said, my name's Junior Hoops. I'm the Family Advocacy Program Manager here at ACS. Please follow us on Facebook and please follow us on our, our past uh, videos and tips of the day. Have a great day.